This Taj Mahal styled house, once known as Gloria's Palace, is now called the Miami Art Palace. The paintings of Vietnamese artist Huang fill the walls of this home and studio that serves to inspire peace. She always wanted to paint about the war. She'd never done it. She always painted uh, very beautiful women, figurative. You see a lot of her art. Uh, and she'd always wanted to paint about the war because she grew up in the war and it was just something in her that she wanted to get out. And uh, so we had the opportunity for her with the, we found this big house and uh, so it was an opportunity for her to have a very big space. Huang is a former journalist who fled Vietnam in 1975 at the end of the war. She escaped to America with her son. It was in Alaska that Huang taught herself to paint. I never painted before. I have a major in journalism. My father is a writer and also a director of movie television in Vietnam. So I followed my father's first step and my goal become a journalist during the war. Um, when I came to America as a boat refugee, I broke my pen with a barrel in English. I could not express myself anymore and out from the blue sky, here come the brush. <laughs> Paint it out art and international language, I begin to communicate. Huang met her husband, Glenn Riles, at an outdoor art show when he fell in love with one of her paintings. He is a well-known home builder who is also an artist. The job is uh, a necessity, uh, although I enjoy what I'm doing. I mean, it's a lot of fun. It's a, it's, it's a great challenge, uh, so I enjoy that. But then it's a, it's a great uh, logical business challenge and actually building houses for people is, is also you feel good with what you've done uh, and then the art is just more the emotion spiritual side of life. Huang's talents stretch beyond being a masterful painter. She is also committed to inspiring others in her quest to convey peace. Serafina Sokolov is one of the art students at Florida International University who is helping Huang on her current project. I first found out about Hung through a women in art history class at FIU and I first just wanted to interview her for a paper and then I discovered her project and I really wanted to help her with it and so every few days I come over and help her out here and there and then she's also helping me with my work. Yet another supporter of this Art for Peace cause is Sandy Wasina, who has been the curator for Hong's shows, including the Art, War, and Peace Museum in Jensen Beach. I had had a child, a 15-year-old son, who was paralyzed playing football. And all the indignities and all the, the hell that he and torment that he went through and we went through as a family was right there in front of me. And I started talking to her about that. And I realized at that time that we were coming from the same place that was um, just bloated with pain. And I thought, I can't believe I'm here. I, I was looking for something that was going to help me deal with my own pain, I guess, a purpose in my life. I lost my father 10 years in prison. I lost my own brother was shot when he ran. I lost my younger brother, he committed suicide after Turkey in jail. My family in the re-education. Two million Vietnamese were killed during the war. One million Cambodia during my time were killed in the killing field. So, how I overcome that and come to America when 25 years old. When I escaped in the war, the only thing that I I pray to God, if I could come over that angle and learn what is love and kindness for all the violent I witnessed in my life. And take me 20 years, even I want to bury it, I couldn't bury it. Every time I see a single face of the horror of the war victim, every single face I look at today, I see myself in them. And that's the reason I started this project. It's very personal from my heart. And somehow it reached out to all of us right now, go to a very hard time for something that insanity to one must stop.
Hung will present her new Flag at War series to the public on March 24th and 25th at the Miami Art Palace. For more information, call 305-275-8547 or email hung at hung.org. I think art, it, it needs to speak. I mean, some, some art is for fun, but, but uh, for me, if it, if it speaks to uh, your soul or your heart, then you've achieved something with your art. Because the, 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 my favorite pieces of art are the ones that uh, I just look at, and every time I look at them, I get an emotional reaction. It's just some kind of a feeling. And, and mainly, I like more powerful pieces because they're, they're strong. They, they, really, uh, they really force you to think every time you see them.